Hey guys, Saki Grimes here and welcome to the tutorial again on JavaScript. Now in this tutorial today we will be discussing a cool new subject which is called global and local variables, global and local scope. Now in JavaScript there are two types of scope, local scope and global scope. If you assign a variable, a value to a variable that has not been declared, it will automatically become a global variable. So I'll give you an example, right? Usually when you're running a function, the function, you can run a function like this. So I'll give you variable name. Well, I could put man is equal to Nigel. Okay. Now I'm saying function run doc u dot dot right man right so I'm running this function okay let's see what happens Right, so I'm seeing Nigel. Now, if I were to take this now and put again document dot dot write man. Okay, if I were to do this again, let's see what happens. I want to see Nigel, Nigel. Perfect. Okay, now if I were to take the variable cut and put the variable locally now this the variable initially was globally right it was on the outside now if I were to put it as a local variable that means it's running within the function then let's see what happens okay I'm gonna run it and it will and believe me it will still run as normal okay but Let's let's see what happens when I put doc q man dot man. Okay, so I'm putting it like this. And now remember that the variable is local, it's within the function. Let's see what happens when I run it now. I'm still getting Nigel. Compared to if I were to take out the variable cut it, put it back globally, paste, file save, run, launch in Chrome, I'll get Nigel Nigel. Remember guys, if you have a variable and it is global, the variable, the, you cannot run document.write once the variable is local. So if the variable is local, you could only run the function. The function will still run regardless of whether the variable is local or global. But if you have to document dot write man, then what will happen is that if the variable is within the function, you cannot alert or you cannot document dot write anything. Okay, guys, so this is variables, right? This is variables using scope. Scope again, very important in JavaScript. So you need to learn that. Um, in the future episodes, I'll be giving you more examples on scope within using using JavaScript. Using JavaScript to explain a lot better, as well as other topics, but you'll be going in depth. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.